So what should you do at the first sign of COVID-19? Well, the first question is, what is the first sign or signs of COVID-19? Well, 82% of the time, it's going to be fatigue. 72% of the time, it's going to be a headache. 40% of the time, you're going to have a fever, which is interesting because you would think that you're going to have a fever 100% of the time, but that's not true. You may have a loss of smell. You may have a persistent cough. You may have a sore throat, and there's a lot of other symptoms. But realize this, just because you have these symptoms does not mean you have COVID-19. There's a lot of different conditions you can have for any one of these symptoms right here. If you do have an infection, what you have to realize is that all of these symptoms are being caused by your own immune system. They're called cytokines, and it's part of your immune defense to fight off a foreign pathogen or invader. These symptoms are not directly caused by a virus. It's your immune system's reaction to the infection. So the goal should be to support your own immune system, to decrease the duration of the immune cycle, to increase the recovery, and to decrease the symptoms, which really is the collateral damage that's done in the attacking of this virus. The serious complications from COVID-19 really come from metabolic syndrome, these other health problems, mainly connected to metabolic syndrome, which is insulin resistance. If you're new to my channel, I put some links down below, but most of you know what that is. But this would relate to high blood pressure, uh, heart problems, blood sugar issues like diabetes. All these additional other metabolic problems increase your risk for more serious complications. So most important, drop your carbs. Start a low carb diet. Don't start snacking on carbs. Number two, start fasting as much as you can. Intermittent fasting is gonna be really, really important because you're gonna directly strengthen your immune system. All sorts of magical things happen with your immune system when you fast. You increase your stem cells, you, your immune system fights harder, it becomes tougher and more efficient. So these two things are probably the most important things to do. All right, next most important thing, start taking vitamin D3 immediately. 30,000 I use. You may even want to take a little more. But the point is that when you take vitamin D3, you are directly addressing inflammation. You're dropping inflammation, and that is going to speed things up real nicely. Also, you're supporting all sorts of specific immune cells, which I've talked about in other videos, but taking 600 IUs is not going to be enough. You need to take higher amounts. And there's a lot of research on this right now in relationship to dealing with this. I'll put some links down below. Next most important thing, zinc. Zinc is involved in hundreds of biochemical reactions, especially with your immune system. In fact, when you deprive someone of zinc, you pretty much shut down the immune system. So I would recommend taking 200 to 225 milligrams of zinc every single day. The best source of zinc is from shellfish and meat and liver. And when you get your zinc from plant sources, it's not nearly as bioavailable. Next thing is vitamin C. Now, this is debatable whether you should take a food concentrate or a synthetic version in high doses. My viewpoint is that if you get your vitamin C from a food source, you can't go wrong because it's not going to deplete other factors. So I would take a really good food source about at least 500 milligrams a day, maybe more. Now, if you're adamant about taking high doses of ascorbic acid, just make sure it's non-GMO because most vitamin C is made from corn starch and sulfuric acid. All right, next one is to drop your stress. Do whatever you can to drop your stress because stress weakens your immune system. It increases cortisol. Cortisol can suppress the immune system. And so if you're in this state of fear all the time, not healthy. Next thing is to increase your sleep. Get more sleep. That's when your body is repairing. That's when your immune system really can rejuvenate. And the last thing I would recommend is to start heating up your body. That means frequent hot showers or taking a hot bath, or when you go to bed, turn up the heat 
and wear your clothes and actually sweat through the night. That will increase your temperature and mimic a fever and help speed up the recovery of this infection. Thanks for watching.